Okay, getting a little bit better. Um, What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel and I really don't know what this video is planned for um I'm just kind of winging it this weekend but there's one thing I want to try this weekend which is light painting which is photography of course if you guys know me I love my photography so thinking about taking Reaper and uh doing some uh, light painting tonight I've never done it before this might be my first time I watched several videos on it but yeah we're about to uh clean the wheels up and I'm gonna take it to an actual car wash but it's hard to get the wheels clean at a car wash so I'm gonna wash them at the house and hope not to get them too dusty on the way out because as you guys know I, it's like a mile long gravel lane I have to go through so that's kind of hard to keep the car clean while going through a gravel lane but the last video with Reaper we did fix the bucking issue we got rid of the ABS so that's all clear so we're uh I just got the ABS light on so that's the only problem but I will get rid of that but right now I'm not worried about it. just the light ain't gonna bother me and also in my last video I did the first episode of Project 3.8 and a lot of you guys were saying 3.8 is already taken and I guess people don't want me calling it 3.8 I don't know there's a guy on the Mustang uh, V6 group and his uh, V6 3.8 liter has 600 horsepower fully built and of course I saw the picture and it does say 3.8 he has a Terminator style valve cover or whatever, not valve cover radiator cover whatever you call it it says 3.8 so I'm like I'm not trying to steal that dude's uh, crap but his car is clean and there's no reason to really hate that thing. I mean, really. This, on the other hand, I expect this thing to get a lot of hate because you saw the exhaust I'm doing to it. And yes, the tailpipes are not welded on yet. I think I'm about just welding the bottoms and clamping the long tailpipe piece. So if I get pulled over, I can just take the long tailpipe piece off. I don't know if the cops will mess with me. Hopefully not, but it's going on there soon. But here's how she sits now and getting tags today for it. So I don't know if I'll drive it this weekend. Gotta swap that tire out, it keeps going flat. Probably uh, plug it, but the sidewall's all thin. So, yeah. Also, if I look rough or uh, seem to get sluggish on and off throughout this video, I did get my uh, COVID vaccine, my second one, the Moderna. And the side effects kicked kick my butt a little bit last night, but it wasn't bad. I thought it was gonna be worse, but I just got migraine. My arm was super sore, it's still sore, but I'm moving it around now. And it's still a little sore, but as long as I keep moving, I'm all right. And I'm not discouraging you um, to not get the vaccine. Definitely get it. If you plan on getting it, don't be afraid of the side effects. They're not that bad. It only lasts for like a day or two, and it's totally worth it. And we need to get to 75% uh, vaccinated throughout the whole country so we can get rid of those masks. Because trust me, I'm getting tired of those. So if we get up to 75%, you know, we'll be Gucci. Oh yeah, I don't wear a mask anyway. <laughs> screw, screw the government. Yeah, to the anti-maskers, I already made your comment, so don't have to worry about it. Oh, lordy the pollen. So, I'm gonna move uh, Reaper over there. Uh, get the, Like I said, just the wheels cleaned up. So when I go to the car wash, you won't be filthy once they come out. But, man, I ceramic coat these, and you would think they would rinse off pretty good, but that's not the case. And yes, your boy got some Crocs. Not gonna lie, when you're washing your car, you just slip them on, no socks, don't worry about your socks or your shoes getting wet, these are perfect. Alrighty, so I got the wheels all clean up, probably gonna go through the drive through car wash just to get the outside clean up. The outside is ceramic coated so it doesn't need to be scrubbed or anything, so the only, only hard part is clean the wheels. And guys, let me use a good wheel brush that is good that won't leave micro scratches, because mine keeps leaving micro scratches and I keep having to buff my wheels and it's getting pretty annoying. Alrighty guys, picking, up, picking this up a few hours later, so you probably can't really see me right now, but like I said earlier, I was thinking about doing some light painting. So Reaper's right there, and I will pull out my LED flashlight here in a second. All right, so I got my light right here. Um, I've had this light for a while. It's made for photography. So we'll see how this works out. I'm going to give a few shots, and if they turn out good, um, obviously you'll see them. Okay, the first picture is processing now. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, so it's a little bit bright, so I'm going to turn on the ISO, but oh my god, it looks sick. Wow, okay. Okay, so we're gonna do the other picture. Turn on the ISO a little bit. Let's see how it looks. That looks a little bit better. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is, I'm gonna turn on the settings a little bit more on my actual light, turn the uh, brightness down. 
then we'll try again. Okay, getting a little bit better. Um, gonna take a few more and I'll show you all the pictures after I'm done. Alrighty guys, gonna get one more shot, um, at least for now. And this is what it looks like basically, so we're going to start uh, the shot now. Alrighty guys, that is a wrap on the uh, light painting for now. Got a few shots. Going to toy around with them in Lightroom and see how they turn out, but automatically, they look freaking great. I mean, let me turn this back on once. That looks killer, not gonna lie. Always eats up the gas. Alrighty, so, um, picking this up several days later, and after, right after the um, light, uh, painting things went downhill horribly that night. So um, Pretty much I was on my way back to my girlfriend's house after the light painting I just put a full tank in my car after the light painting because uh, I was at a quarter tank So I figured I might as well top it out for the weekend because I wanted to go to different locations for light painting well as I was on my way back to my girlfriend's I got pulled over and Okay, so I got pulled over now, I'm not gonna go into details. I don't even really know what I got pulled over for but I get pulled over, um, asked for my ID and stuff, and he asked for proof of insurance. And I've never been asked that out of all the times I've been pulled over in this thing. I've never been asked for proof of insurance. Of course, it's been a while since I had the paper made, and it wasn't there. So it got lost probably when I was cleaning my car out of 100 times I cleaned it. It probably blew away because it's windy uh, out here where I clean my car. So I did have papers blow away before, but it may have been... Um, my proof of insurance but either way you would think they could look that up on their records or something you know i mean like i don't think they really need to see a paper in today's world but either way um so he said if you i, I had to call my grandparents because they're it's under their insurance okay i can't afford the insurance i'm not gonna lie i mean i do pay them insurance i pay them but um the thing is if i put this in my name it's gonna be 10 times more expensive so once i get a little bit older yeah i'm gonna switch it all over so it started getting really windy outside and i was not dealing with that so i'm inside so, I forgot what I was uh, saying because that was like 30 minutes ago. But, um, pretty much, um, yeah, that night was horrible. Um, let's just say my license is all mixed up. And, I mean, it's good now. But, the MV okay, this is the second time it's happened to me. The MVA is suspended for no reason over some kind of confusion in the computer system. Uh, I did have to take driver improvement uh, a while back. But I never transferred to the MVA. And the MVA uh, thought I didn't go through with it. So, they... Suspend my license. I didn't know. I didn't even get noticed. So that screwed me over. So I had to have someone else drive my car home. But needless to say, um, it almost got towed. And also, um, my insurance card was missing. I was talking about that also. The insurance card was missing. He's going towed because of that. Like I've never had a cop really ask me for that. But I guess some cops are different. Um, but in the end, uh, he was nice and didn't uh, tow my car. He let someone else drive it uh, to Bree's house, my girlfriend's house, and. That's pretty much it, but the video is short because of that, so I apologize, there's going to be a lot more, but trust me, once I get my license, I mean, it's already fixed, I don't know what I'm saying. It Once I get, um, once this weekend comes back up, we will do some more light painting, hopefully, and since I've been vaccinated, i got two weeks uh, before I can go do, like, car meets again, so I'm excited, so. So, please leave a like on this video, because I went out that night to make content for you guys, and I got pulled, and I got screwed, so I was going to stay home that night. I had a feeling that something bad was going to happen, but I did it anyways, and I just tried to listen to my gut feeling. But make sure you leave a like. I'm going to end the video off here. But follow me on Instagram to see the full images of the light painting, and make sure you go like this photos too. Alrighty guys, like, comment, and subscribe. Mm -hmm.